Hi guys! Good morning! Welcome to my life! <laughs> Yuck, Kadiri! Take two! Ito talaga! So again, good morning! I'm really not a morning person, so talagang hirap ako bumangon sa umaga. So right beside my bed, I have a water heater na nag on kasabay ng alarm ko so I can have brewed coffee while still in bed. It's not a paid promotion, pero flex ko lang guys, yung coffee ng pilot friend ko. Si Pilot Frankie, he has yung Aviator coffee. Try nyo guys, masarap siya. Okay, so I have to warn you guys, medyo hectic yung schedule natin for the next two days. So ayan, hinanda ko na yung uniform ko last night. Then today, we'll be deadheading from Manila to Cebu, overnight to Cebu, and then tomorrow, Cebu to Narita, Japan, and then Japan back to Manila. So we have to go na kasi baka malate rin tayo. Okay, so we're all set and we have to go na. Yaya, pakihanda ang Mercedes-Benz sa charcoal gray. Yaya? Yaya? Ano ba yan? Yaya? Yaya! Ay! Wala nga pala ako, mate. Tara na nga. Now we're here na sa office para mag-sign in. Medyo senti lang guys kasi before talagang deserted itong office. Pero since dumadami na ang flights, unti-unti na ulit nagkakaroon ng crew dito sa dispatch. Hello. Quick hello kay Captain Chito at saka kay Captain Mike. Hello. Hello. Mike. Saan ka nag-park? Doon. Then rush na rin ako sa airport. Buti na lang walang traffic. First time ko rin kasi mag-park dito sa airport parking. Sir, sa taas na po ha? Um, meron na parking sa departures yung daan. Never ako nag-park dito kasi usually punuan. Pero ngayon mukhang maluwak. So I walk to the check-in counter kasi today, deadhead lang ako. Which means, passenger lang ako for the flight going to Cebu. So, parang normal passenger, kailangan ko pa rin ng ticket. Saan ang ticket sa deadhead? Dito. The right side. Thank you. I walk to the counter to get help. Morning. Manghingi lang ng ticket sa deadhead. At matapos nila akong tulungan, bilang atribida ako, syempre may konting okrayan. Ikaw, ikaw na bagong debond. Ikaw yung uh, ito, si Kat. Hehe, <laughs> 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 joke lang, miss. Bawal pikon. Char. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Time to head to our airplane. But for me, since naka-uniform ako, halos hindi na ako pumutila dun sa mga security checks natin. And then, morning! Morning! And then, Sobrang sa araw-araw ko dito sa airport, kabisado ko na yung pasikot-sikot. So, within 5 minutes, kaya ko makarating sa aircraft and makasakay. Uy, 5 minutes raw ah. Sige nga, timingan natin. May bayad yan. May bayad to. Hindi ka namin afford. Since ang aircraft na gagamitin ay nakapark sa remote parking bay, we have to go down to the pre-departure area, get on a bus, just to get to our plane. 5 minutes nga. O, oh, diba? Saktong-sakto guys. Insider information, tradition sa airline namin ang pagsabi ng words na permission dun sa mga pilots ng flight na sasakyan mo. Kahit hindi naman talaga sila pwede tumanggi, ginagawa ko pa rin just to say hi. Sinong captain natin? Captain ko, laksamahan. Morning sir, Mag permission lang, deadhead. Oh, Morning sure, sir, sure, sure, sure. vlog lang rin. <laughs> I walk back to my seat for departure. Hi, safety demo, sawang-sawa na ako dyan. Pero sa view na ito, never ako magsasawa. Kung nasa loob tayo ng cockpit, ito ang maririnig nyo. Maintain runway heading 7,000, clear for takeoff, runway 06. Runway heading 7,000, clear for takeoff, runway 06. Takeoff. Thrust set. 100 knots. Check. V1. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. It's a short flight to Cebu, but we have time for a quick cockpit tour. 
Ito ang mga push button switches ng mga systems ng Airbus A321. Sa taas niyan, merong circuit breakers. Bukod dyan, meron pa sa likod mga circuit breakers. Ang dami talagang systems guys, nakakahilo. Hello Cebu! After the pilot shut down the engines, they turn off the fuel pumps. At dahil quick turnaround ang flight na ito, agad-agad nalalapit ang mga cargo trucks para mag-unload ng cargo. Very efficient, bawal ang wasted time. Buti na lang, pumayag sila Captain for a very quick interview. This is Captain Paul and on the right side si Captain Alan. So, pinakitaan po niya tayo yung tamang way ng pag-land ng aircraft. <laughs> How long na po kayo sa airline, sir? Uh, almost 15 years already. Um, I started as a first officer uh, 15 years ago. Sa 320, sir? Or 320, 320, 320 also. Pero hindi tayo nagkalipad, eh? No, no. Because no. I was based uh, here in Cebu ah. for 8 years. Okay. Yeah. Good. Because ako guys, I stayed with the 320 for around two and a half years. I never got to fly captain, so he was Cebu based pala. So on our right side, si Captain Alan naman. Kaya naman sir, how long have you been flying with the airline natin? I've been flying here in Cebu City. Ay, bawal yung airline sir. Bawal ako yung mention. Ay, ulit, ulit. So, sir Alan, how long have you been flying here with your airline? I'm flying here eight years in Cebu. Okay. Ayo, sorry. Okay, lah. Ibu ni pun ada. Ayo, doh. Okay, lah. Tunggu lah. Okay, lah. Sorry, pagi ni nama kami maglanti. Ponting good vibes lang before they fly back to Manila. Safe flight. Thank you, sir. Now let me show you kung ganon kabisi ang cabin crew nyo kapag may quick turn around. They say goodbye to the passengers. They do a cabin check to see kung merong left behind items and they sanitize the plane. Then merong guard na aakyat to do a security check. Next is security check rin kayo, right? Oh, so after bumaba ng mga passengers, may guard naman po na papasok to check yung aircraft. Ano po name niyo? Ata. Okay, Mike po. Thank you. Don't forget to say thank you sa inyong mga cabin crew. Pero siyempre, bago bumaba, may Thank konting you. asaran. Bye. Bye Bawal magtsikahan sa araw, sa trabaho, ha? <laughs> Joke lang, walang walang passengers, wala pa. Pero kanina ako yung chika ng chika. Walang swimming trunks na dala, maghuhubad na lang tayo sa pool. Siyempre, papakita mo later mga perks mo, ano? Papakita ang ano? Yung mga perks mo later. Perks? Kala. Yeah. Kala <laughs> ko ano papakita natin eh. <laughs> Bawal baka mabash tayo. <laughs> okay, time to go to our hotel. We head down to the ramp kasi andun yung pickup namin. Ay, bababa pala. Bababa pala. <laughs> we load our bags dun sa pickup. Pero sabi sa amin, kailangan pa rin namin dumaan sa airport arrivals. So yun, akyat ulit kami sa bridge. Flex ko lang guys yung co-host naming supermodel. Co-host natin, oh. Si Franco. <laughs> So we walk through the baggage claim. Medyo nakakapanibago lang kasi usually very crowded dito. Pero ngayon, kami lang yung tao. Daan kami sa arrival area, then get on our shuttle. After that, we set our pickup time for tomorrow's flight. Okay, tomorrow is you also, di ba? Huh? Tomorrow? Morning ah, morning ah. Okay, thank you. Sundoy niya kami bukas? Or? Ah, okay, 7.45. Ngayon pa lang sinasabi ko na guys, something will go wrong bukas. Oh my god! Within 2 minutes, ando na kami sa Waterfront Hotel Mactan. We get off the car, take a quick look around kasi first time ko rin talaga dito. Medyo luma na yung hotel guys pero carry bells naman. We check in, then walk to our rooms para makapagpahinga na. Hi! Nabago din talaga ako guys kakanari. So let's slow down, chill, dahil bukas, rarampa na naman tayo. Okay guys, so we're here... We're here pa rin sa, sa hotel. Kakagising ko lang and kakahilamos as in talagang super antok. But, bigyan ko kayo ng room tour. Just ko lang. So, ayan, yan yung beds. I don't know kung ba't dalawang bed yung binigay nila sa akin. And TV. It's a small room pero decent. Okay naman yung aircon. Wait. 
And guys, ito na ang view natin. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Puro bubong! Puro bubong po ang mga view natin, guys. Pero ayan, napaka-generous po ng mayor ng Cebu. Nagpadala ng kalapate at hindi lang basta-basta ang kalapate, yung kalapating pangkasal. Pero isa lang kasi mag wala akong jowa. Ay, <laughs> balis tuloy, guys. <laughs> Ayan pala, to the left naman, nandiyan yung airport natin, Mactan Airport. So, you have the remote parking base dyan. Minsan dyan kami nagpa-park back in my 320 days. And then, behind that, andun yung mga taxi base and runway. Eto guys, so dumating na raw yung food natin sa baba. So, kukunin ko na ngayon yung food delivery from Food Panda. Pero bago yun, share ko lang yung OOTD ko. Yan o, yan o. Yan. Uso yan guys, ngayon yung mga medyo punit-punit. Yung uso ngayon, yung mga dalawang laban na lang pwede nang maging basahan. Yan, yan. Thank you. And then, dito lang tayo sa third floor. So, yan. Ito, guys. City break by the pool. Yan yung mga amenities nila. Yan. Pwede ka rin mag-birthday. So, birthday blowout. Meron kang libreng gluta drift. Yan. Yan, o. Kamukha mo na siya after ng birthday mo. Then, pwede ka rin mag-dine and fly. Mag-serve sila ng isdang walang ulo. Ayan, favorite ko yung mga isdang walang ulo, guys. Wait na, nasa tantuloy tayo. Ano ba yan? Mabalik na. Okay guys, so we're back in the room na. Andiyan na yung pinadeliver nating food. Mga 3pm na ngayon dito sa Cebu. Kaya lang ngayon lang ako makakapag-lunch. Kasi like when I got to the hotel, talagang super antok ko. So I had to sleep for mga 2 hours. I'm, I'm just really not a morning person. Number 2, huwag niyo ako i-bash kung sa floor ako nakaupo. Para lang makapakita ko sa inyo yung food. Kasi dito yung maganda yung lighting eh. So... For me kasi, every time I travel, so we have layovers sa Dubai and sa Sydney, uh, Melbourne, Korea. I always want to sample yung local food doon kasi I think it's the best way for any traveler to to assimilate the local culture. Balita ko, sikat na sikat raw dito yung mga lechon sa Cebu. Kaya yan, more than ng chow king. <laughs> Di ba? Local naman, hindi. Social to kasi galing China. Chinese style fried chicken. Mahilig talaga ako sa fried chicken. And then, of course, walang kamatayang halo-halo ng Chow King na ito talagang kinikrave ko to. Pinakain ako nito ni Captain Eric the other day sa bahay nila. Pero ano lang kasi yung binigay niya sa amin, small lang. So ito, bumili ako ng large para sa sarili ko. Diba? Next time, Captain Eric, large naman. Eh. I watch my favorite show habang kumakain, tapos sa gabi, konting Facebook, and I had to finish some training modules for work. After that, beauty rest na. Good night, guys! The next day, ang ganda ka tang... Di pala. Ito guys, so good morning. Today yung actual flight natin. It's around 7.25, so I'll have mga 15 to 20 minutes to go down. Check out and then have breakfast rin. And then 7.45, we meet with si Captain so we can take the shuttle going to the airport. So I go down to the breakfast area to meet Captain. Ito guys, I'll show you how pilots prepare for their flights. First, we get our iPads and download the latest charts and latest flight plan. Then we check the flight details like kung anong aircraft ang gagamitin that day. We check the NOTAMs to get information about the airports na liliparan namin. Then we check the flight routing. We check the weather and nako guys, mukhang may bagyo. So yan guys, nasa restaurant na ako. Unfortunately, hindi pala buffet breakfast dito. So medyo na late ako ng baba. And then medyo matagal yung order. And buti na lang, pumayag silang mag takeout. So guys, ayan actually, medyo late yung shuttle. So... Ayan, ayan. Sabi ko na nga ba may mangyayari. Medyo late yung shuttle kaya nagmamadali kami ngayon to get to the airport. Buti na lang may backdoor entrance yung hotel para makarating sa airport. Pagdating namin sa airport, since pareho naming first time ni Captain, medyo na lost pa kami. Once we get to the airport, we approach the check-in counter para ma-assist kami ng mga ground agents. Okay. Thank you. After ng security checks, merong sumundo sa amin para daling kami sa immigration and to lead us to our aircraft. Oh, di ba? Lakas maka-VIP. First time ko rin kasi dito sa bagong airport ng Mactan. Pilot tip, pagdating mo sa aircraft, ang una mong gagawin is to build your nest. 
That means you prepare your workspace. So kukuha ko ng alcohol at saka wipes to disinfect the cockpit and my instruments. For today, I am PM or pilot monitoring for the flight from Cebu to Narita, Japan. Here are my duties as PM. First, I do a preliminary cockpit preparation where I do some checks on the aircraft systems. I get the weather. Once I have the weather, I do a preliminary takeoff computation. Then I show my computation to the captain to cross check. After that, I go down to the ramp and do the walk around where I check the exterior of the aircraft. So yan guys, kakatapos lang natin mag-walk around. Super ingay talaga dito sa ramp. Sinek lang natin yung aircraft. And then, babalik na rin ako sa cockpit to prepare for the flight. By the time I get back to the cockpit, the pilot flying, or on this leg, the captain, should be done preparing the MCDU. I cross-check the box, and then the captain briefs me for the takeoff. Emergency briefing, sniper coordination. Uh, secondary. Straight out, 1,500, left turn, Mactan, forward, Mactan. Usually, ginagawa itong flight preparation during passenger boarding, which takes a long time. But since cargo flight tayo, mabilisan itong flight preparation namin. Once we're ready, we ask for ATC clearance. Kaya lang, since very unfamiliar itong route na ito, hindi ko naintindihan yung ATC clearance. I had to ask ATC to repeat the information. Uh, second, I'm going to pass your Ponso 4 Romeo Ponso, goal 578 Gural, flight plan 2. We do a before start checklist to make sure we didn't forget anything. Complete friend. Completed. Completed. Gear basic covers. Remove signs. On and out of radius. Once we're all set, we close the doors and arm the slides. Okay, Gora Bells na sa Japan. Finally, may time na ako mag-breakfast, kaya lang yung American breakfast ko naging Pinoy halo-halo. So kanina, di ba sinabi ko, meron tayong madadaanan na bagyo? Eto na siya! Ito yung weather radar namin sa cockpit. Fun fact, it doesn't really detect clouds, but rather, the water droplets inside the cloud. So as you can see, we're flying the plane through that clear corridor. As pilot monitoring, I log the fuel and timings for every waypoint. We can already get the weather sa Narita ahead of time. We can have it printed out and then reviewed. Nako, may whiskey Sierra. Wind shear. Matagal na akong hindi nakakalipat sa Japan so I have to review my notes. The captain then prepares for the approach. I double check and then ibibrief ako ng captain. Within 4 hours, palanding na kami. And here we are. Welcome to Japan. Sobrang nakakamiss. So guys, we are here na po sa Narita on our ground stop. We arrived a bit earlier, so we initially had two hours of a ground stop. But we were just informed by the ramp agent that they think they can be able to depart 30 minutes early. So right now, we have another one hour before our next departure. So we take this time to prepare the flight plan, the box, the MCDU, as we say it. Do the briefing and then sa baba naman, they're reviewing the aircraft and loading the cargo. Okay, so that's it. I'll just prepare the MCDU, our computers, prepare for the next flight. Kasi baka mahuli ako ni Captain and nag-drop out. I'll get back to you later. I check my notes again because I haven't taken off in Narita in a very long time. Once I have all the information I need, I prepare the MCDU for departure. The captain will be pilot monitoring for the flight to Manila. That means magsiswitch kami ng roles. Siya yung magche-check ng work ko, then I will brief him for the takeoff. Standard on emergency in case of uh, failure, I'll hand you over the controls and then we'll do everything as the uh, brief out of contact. Habang nagpre-prepare kami sa cockpit, sa ground naman naglo-load sila ng cargo. Sabay-sabay lahat ito nangyayari, kaya talagang very busy kami. Before we depart, we make sure we have all the cargo documents. Nako guys, mukhang may nawawala. Hi. You have the fuel, is it? Oh, you Okay, time to go. The flight back to Manila is a bit longer kasi headwind. It's advisable to take breaks in between flying kapag nangawit na kami kakaupo. Here's a quick tour sa galley. Flights natin, for example, ito yung mga supplies. 
Um, dito nila nilalagay mga meals, lahat nandiyan na usually eh. So, andiyan yung mga juice namin. Sige, kuha ko nito. Actually, then, uh, meron din kami mga uh, PPE, alcohol, sanitizing wipes, dito yung nakastore, some spray bottles. In case may tumapon, meron kami universal precaution kit. And then, on this side, laging may cookies dito na nakatago somewhere. Yan. So, meron kami mga coffee, tea, apples, fruits. Pero self-service lang. Kunin na lang. Frozen ang mga in-flight meals namin. Kaya kailangan ni heat namin dito sa oven. I take a walk in the cabin to stretch my legs. I remember when this cabin used to be filled with 436 passengers. But now, we have 436 empty seats. This is what the aviation industry looks like. A year after all this started, we're just happy to be even flying. No matter how long and tiring this flight is, we still find reasons to go through it. It's our survival instinct. It's the love for what we do. At sino bang hindi? If in the end, you will be rewarded with a view like this. So to our viewers and fellow aviators, don't fold your wings, just keep flying. Uy, umamin ka, ang galing ko mag-English. Anyways, dito na tayo sa Manila, gabi na rin. So we go through immigration in the arrival area, pero hindi pa ako pwede umuwi. Hindi pa tapos yung araw ko, I still had to go back to the office to drop off the documents na ginamit, na nakuha namin yung flight. So ayan na guys, that is a day in the life or two days in the life of an airline slash cargo pilot. Long work days talaga ang mga um, aviators, mga cabin crew and pilots. Pero as you can see, taas baba, taas baba yung workload. So I hope you enjoyed our episode and sana in the future magkaroon pa tayo ng mga ibang day in the life. Sana ibang destination naman pag nabalik na ibang destination. Again, this is Pilot Mike and this is the Pilot Talk Show.